Hey guys, welcome, your boy Nick here, and today we're just going to run through those previous videos that I put up covering those king uh, grappling co combinations. If you haven't seen them, I will put a link into the description below. So, let's get to it. So, the first move here, basic takedown to an armbar to a Kimura. Okay, so here it is me performing it, but very bare bones, and... So we start, the takedown was very uh, sloppy, bad posture. And then just going through the motions very slowly to the armbar and then to the Kimura. As you can see, the transitions there are a little bit awkward. So here, a bit better. And the appropriate reaction from the opponent would be defending, trying you not to pass. And then obviously going for the armbar, sitting on top of your opponent and look at what i do with the grip there i don't let go and go for the armbar i am going for the armbar but then using that force of my opponent and look here at how i have my legs one on the side and one over the head pinning down this way if i pull for that armbar and they resist i can use that momentum follow through and go through with that kimura always depending on your opponent's reactions Okay, so next up is the takedown knee bar, Americana, and this lovely neck crank. Dangerous stuff. So make the angle for the takedown. That came out a lot better. So look at my leg entanglement at this point. Okay, you can see it's vastly different. I don't wrap both legs around the leg. In fact, I've got the one shin pinned onto the hip. So this way, when my opponent decides to resist okay and i'm not locking it in it's easy to do the transition to kick over because i don't have to pull my leg out and i can go into side control and get that americana now here as you can see with the with the neck crank position look at how king's got his arm wrapped around going underneath the armpit but i'm going over the shoulder the massive difference is here between with King, um, focusing on pressure to turn. Whereas with my modification there, I am wanting the idea that my opponent can shrimp out and turn into me in order to escape and using that reaction to turn them over. It's pretty simple, but yeah, like you want to work with somebody and give them that false sense of, you know, control or that false sense of opportunity. And then, of course, finish with the neck crank, pushing down with the hips, pulling the neck up. Pretty painful stuff. All right, so that is the quick comparison video between my modifications and the original moves so that you can apply it in real life. Uh, very bare bones, very simple. And once again, if you haven't seen those videos, the previous videos, I will put a link in the description below for you to check them out in greater detail. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and all that other stuff that YouTubers ask you to do. And I will check you next time.